What's up Creepsters, I'm Brad. Today we'll be talking about the mythical entity known as the Pontianak. The Pontianak is the mythological creature that lives in Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. It's like a Southeast Asian vampire. It usually takes the form of a woman who has died during pregnancy or while giving birth. Now the Pontianak usually appears as a long-haired woman dressed in white with long, sharp fingernails. She seduces men to incite fear and carry out revenge. The Pontianak typically appears under the full moon, announces her presence with hysterical laughter or through the cries of infants. It is said if the cries are soft, she is nearby, but if they are loud, she's far away. Some say that a dog howling at night means that Pontianak is somewhere nearby. However, if the dog begins to whine, Pontianak is already there. Its presence is said to be heralded by a floral fragrance of the plumeria flower, followed by a stench similar to that of its decaying corpse. The Pontianak kills her victims by using her long fingernails to remove their internal organs as she feasts upon them. When her purpose is revenge against a man, it is said to disembowel the victims with its hands. If a victim has their eyes open when the Pontiac is near, she'll suck the eyes out of their head. She locates her prey by the scent of clean laundry. Whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. There are many who firmly do and avoid leaving clothing outside overnight. Pontianak is associated with banana trees and her spirit is said to reside in them during the day. What should you do if you see a Pontianak? According to myth, you should drive a nail into the nape of its neck. By doing so, she'll transform into a beautiful lady that treats you like a god. Some even marry them, as apparently they make good wives. All of this is fine and well. That is until the nail is removed. Dead pregnant women vampires? It's a hell of a way to get people to bring their laundry in at night. Anyways, thanks for being here, creepsters. Or Undertaker Squad. What do you think we should call ourselves? Creepsters or Undertaker Squad? Why don't you guys decide in the comments below or just post your own idea. Subscribe, notify, bells, all those things the YouTubers tell you to do, do them. Please, we want you guys to be the first ones to know when our new videos come out. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Remember, stay spooky, keep it creepy, and happy hauntings. Would you like more stories like this? Leave a thumbs up and drop us a message in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you as we explore more creepy stories from around the world. Get subscribed if you haven't already. Be a part of our crew. Remember to also hit that notification bell to be a part of the Undertaker Squad. Get notified when we upload the next video. Remember guys, stay spooky, keep it creepy, and happy hauntings. I'll see you on the next video.